Well, hello everyone, welcome. We are live again, and uh, we've got a really special one-off for you today because we've got this awesome Evermix product to review. I'm gonna give you a quick review of it now, and then we're gonna give it away afterwards. So if you're watching this live, you're gonna get a chance to win one of five of these Evermix products that we have here for you. Now, as we went live, uh, my phone rang because one of the things that I forgot to do was to put my phone on silent. So let me just do that now. Uh, and uh, once I've done that, we can uh, <laughs> we can uh, get on with the show. Right, welcome everyone. It's Digital DJ Tips. It's Tuesday. It's just after the normal time because I was setting a few things up. Uh, and we're here to look at today's topic, which is how to record your DJ sets. And I've got a really easy way. So it's this thing you can see on the screen here. Let me just get the camera on the overhead and then you'll see what I'm talking about. It's this here. It's called the Evermix. So... This is a very simple way of recording your DJ sets. And the reason we're talking about it now is twofold. One, you can finally get this again, or at least you can uh, in certain stores and it will be on sale on their website in the next two or three weeks. They're really hard to get DJ audio interfaces at the moment because everyone is buying them up to do live streams under lockdown, right? So these have been hard to get. These are finally available again. But secondly, it's just a great way of doing this if you're a DJ because DJs often use really convoluted producer interfaces with all the microphone inputs and guitar inputs and stuff just to get the music from their DJ gear into their computer or onto their phone in order to record it or live stream it. This is very, very simple. So I'm gonna talk you through that in a minute. As I say, later on, you'll get a chance to win one of five of these. And also Evermix themselves have got a competition called Sound of Summer, where you can do a DJ mix and you can potentially win uh, more prizes from them. So I'll tell you about their competition as well. So nice, happy summer, feel good uh, giveaway kind of vibe going on today. All right then, so let's talk about this ever mix and why it could be a good choice for you if you want to record your DJ sets. So look, why not just hit record in your DJ software? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One, maybe you don't use DJ software. I've got a Roland controller here with DJ software, but maybe you don't use it. Maybe you DJ from straight from Pioneer Gear in a club or from USB, so you haven't got an easy way of recording your sets that way. But secondly, nowadays people increasingly use streaming services to DJ from. And one of the downsides of the current licensing for streaming services is you turn them on and guess what happens? Your recording gets turned off in your software because it won't let you record and stream at the same time because of the way the license works. So you wanna record your set to listen back to, to practice, whatever, no can do. A little box like this one here will help you to solve that. So that's what we're talking about today. I'm gonna to talk you through how this works. I'm gonna talk you through how uh, to use it. I'll show you how to use it. And then in the description underneath, I'll give you, when we're finished today, in the description underneath, I'll post the details of how to enter the competition, although I'll tell you as well. Uh, it's not a competition, it's just a draw. We've got five of them to give away. But also Evermix has got a competition called Sound of Summer. I'll tell you how to enter that. And again, I'll put the link in the description. Haven't had time to do it before the show today, but I'll do that straight afterwards. So, okay, let's get stuck in and let's talk about this unit. So we've already talked about why, because there's various times when you're just going to want to record your set straight from the mixer, straight from the controller, not, not on your computer. You know, if you're in a club and DJing, then you might be DJing with an MC, with other DJs, you want to record the whole night. The way this works is really, really simple. It plugs into a spare output on the DJ controller. So I've got this plugged in here. It's a nice little metal box. Uh, it comes in this great case, by the way, with all the leads you need in it, which is just a nice touch to throw in your DJ bag. It plugs in via a single cable that they provide into an RCA output. Now the best RCA output to use is the record output. All Pioneer mixers have got a record output on the back of them here somewhere. It's down here, there. There you go, that's a Pioneer mixer, that's the record out. So if you're in a club, you just lean around the back and plug in your lead into there. If you're using a controller, you'll probably plug it into the booth output, because booth output's got its own volume control. So you use your master output for your speakers and your booth output as a volume control for your Evermix. And I'll show you how to set the volume, it's really easy in a minute. So that's it, you've just got to find a spare output to plug it into. So that's the first cable. The second cable, goes to your phone, because your phone is the thing that does the recording here. There's an app for your phone that does all that stuff for you. So the second cable is there, and they provide the cables. There is a USB-C cable for Android. Has to be a certain type of Android device. We've done a full review of this, which I will post to underneath this live stream, uh, underneath this show as well, which explains a bit more detail. But basically there's an Android lead there, and there's also 
a lightning connector which I've got connected to this iPhone uh, and the uh, USB-C cable for Android also will work on a MacBook so you can plug it straight into a MacBook or um, you know a, an iMac or whatever and record to computer. Curiously it doesn't work on Windows though unfortunately so this can be used for that as well but we're showing you the way it's meant to, kind of meant to be used now which is on your phone. So all right then having uh, got that far let's now look at how you actually do the recording. Well you open a little app on the phone which is what I've just opened here it's the Evermix app and you get some music playing on your DJ controller or on your DJ system. So I've got a track playing here. The Evermix unit will tell you that there is music coming into it uh, when you have that turned up loud enough. For some reason, maybe if I just unplug it and plug it in again, it's not having that. Oh no, I need to click record set on here, yeah. I need to click record set on here. Right, so now you can see that it's getting a nice input there and this is turned blue and that means all's good it's going to record your set and it stopped because it got to the end of the track and that's now red telling me that there's no signal or too low a signal which is quite cool you know it's uh, simple and it works so let's go back to the beginning of the track there so that's now playing so now i hit record and that's recording my set so to speak i'm actually going to turn that down a bit so my set's recording on here and it's telling me it's recording ever mix is glowing blue and when i'm finished i hit stop and that's it, so we'll stop this now. So now we have a nice little waveform on this unit here. Uh, and there's a few things you can do. You can do fade in point, fade out point. You can even take a section of the mix and bring the volume down on it. So say you mixed in a track too loud, you can do that. You can do all these kinds of fixes. You can have a start point and an end point so you can trim your mix and you can add genres to it. There's all kinds of genres here for you to select. Uh, and then you can uh, give it an event, a location and a venue. And when you're finished, you can upload it directly to Mixcloud or Soundcloud directly from your phone. No computers, no nothing needed, which is pretty damn cool. But also something I really liked you can click on a little share button and then you can export either the one you edited or the original uh, and it will then let you do it in the normal way upload it to anywhere on your phone so you could have Dropbox or iCloud or Google Drive anything that you can normally share stuff to on your phone save it straight to your files whatever uh, it will save on there you just have to connect the service up as you would with any service uh, and you know the beauty of this thing is how damn simple it is. You know, I've shown you the whole thing. The only thing I haven't shown you is down here at the bottom of the unit, there are two extra sockets and they're really nice. One of them is a stereo eight inch microphone in. So you can have an electric microphone plugged in there and you can then have crowd noise recorded. And what the app does is record the crowd noise on two separate stereo or one separate stereo channel, if you like, two separate channels. So you can then choose when you are in kind of post-production, all on your phone, whether to have crowd noise or not. You can mix it in on the breakdowns and the drops and keep it out most of the time. So this can all happen on your phone. And the second input is a micro USB, which is to provide power to this. It doesn't need power, it's taking power from the phone. Uh, it doesn't drain too much power, by the way. So if your phone's charged, you'll have plenty to, to record a great set. But it's taking power from the phone. But you can plug in to any USB you know, socket. Uh, a lead, a micro USB lead here, it will then power your phone and keep it charged at the same time. So uh, it's pretty damned awesome. A couple of things I didn't like so much about it. Uh, I, I don't like the fact that there's no through. So what do I mean by that? Well, maybe you've got a DJ controller that's only got one output on it. So you plug that output into the Evermix, where do you plug your speakers in? It would have been nice just to have another one of these tiny little sockets like on the back uh, as an output. So you could plug a pair of speakers into it as well. So you could plug your monitor speakers in after there. I mean, it's only a small thing and most people, it's designed for people using pro mixers like this one uh, and pro devices. Uh, and so you're never gonna have that issue, but I think it would be nice to have that. Some people won't like the fact that there's no volume control at all on it. What happens is the app listens to the incoming signal. As long as it's reasonably loud and not too loud, not distorting, and it'll tell you if it's distorting, it kind of glows red. Uh, the app will just get you a nice, nice, beefy level if you like. It's all done in there for you. But some people want more control than that. Uh, and of course, uh, if you are recording on an app that isn't their app and you can use it, the, the, when the audio goes in here, you can record on anything. You can even use this with your normal video settings, uh, prop this up, video you DJing, and use this to provide great sound. Uh, you know, in those situations, maybe you do want uh, a little bit more control and maybe a volume control on the unit might have been nice, but they've tried to keep it simple and I understand that. So as I just mentioned, you could use this uh, as providing the audio for making a video of your DJ sets. You could use it as a live streaming interface, plugging straight into any live streaming software on here uh, or plugging directly into your computer as long as it's a Mac. So a really flexible little thing. It's the Evermix Mixbox 
uh, the Evermix Box 4, they're calling it, all one word now, Evermix Box 4. Uh, and it's available again after a long wait for this and nearly all the other audio interfaces out there. Uh, now, if you live in the UK or Europe, a lot of dealers have got them, but you can also order off the Evermix site uh, and they will be delivering in the next few weeks. So uh, it's 115 UK pounds uh, and it comes with this lead, it comes with the USB-C lead and also the lightning lead uh, in there. So that's our mini review. And if you're watching this video pinned to our full review of this product, then uh, you're finished now, you're done. But for everyone else who's watching this live, uh, we're now gonna talk about uh, what you think of this. I'm gonna answer your questions about it. And then afterwards, we're gonna talk about how you can win one of five of these in our free prize draw for everyone watching this. Uh, and also I'll tell you about the Evermix Sound of Summer competition where you can go on uh, to win more of these. They're giving away more of these and they're giving away some awesome other prizes, including a Digital DJ Tips Complete DJ course. And I'll tell you how you can enter that as well. So if you wanna know how you can win one of these, you wanna chat about this, uh, or you want to enter their mix competition, well, we're gonna do that for the next 10 minutes. So let's head over to the comment cam and get interactive, because that's what this is all about, isn't it, people? It's about being interactive uh, and chatting through with you guys. So, all right then, I'm gonna so just say a massive hello to everyone who, uh, who has joined us today. I've got no time to go through to all our regulars and uh, to say hello, uh, to say hello to you because it's busy, but thank you very much for joining us all our regulars, especially you first people in, you know who you are. Uh, all right then, so everything we're gonna talk about will be in the description underneath, that is true case, so I just didn't have time to do it beforehand uh, because I'm very, very busy today and I've got teaching after this as well, So, but I will find time to do that. Uh, all right then, so James says, I bought an Evermix about 12 months ago, I haven't been disappointed, it's easy to use and you can record and live stream with it, really good bit of kit. So thank you for that. Rob says the Reloop Tape 2 is excellent and very simple to use. It is, the Reloop Tape 2 is a cool version of this kind of interface as well. Alex can re remember recording on a C90, yes, so can I. Open up another pack of TDK, eh? They were the days. Uh, so uh, Dr. Funk says Evermix only works on mobile. iRig Stream works with everything that has a pulse. Oh, well, Evermix does work on Mac as well, we've discovered, so uh, that is uh, that is the case. So uh, not quite true that, but uh, but anyway. Um, so James remembers standing in a record shop uh, many years ago with me buying records. So thank you for that memory, James. It is a long time ago indeed, but still going strong here for sure. All right then, so is this the same as you guys use? Yes, we use this in our studio here. Uh, we also use other interfaces, but that one stays in my bag because it's got a nice case. So it just stays in my bag if I need it. Uh, so yes, that is cool. Uh, someone on our Facebook page just says, this is cool, Phil. Uh, all right then, so uh, more comments. Ask questions about the Evermix Mix Box 4 or the Evermix Box 4 as they've subtly renamed it. What quality does it record at? Great question. So you get a choice of recording in WAV and at least on a, an iPhone uh, of recording it in AAC and you can choose 192 or 320 AAC. I'm guessing on an Android phone you get mp3 but i might be wrong about that but basically you're going to get a, a wav on compressed and a um a compressed version as well by the way ha, um, thank you to everyone who's joining us over on mixcloud uh it's good to have you here hi a brother named sherman sideshow mall uh and keith uh and a b-tone good to have you guys over on mixcloud and whether you're joining us on twitch or on our youtube page or youtube channel or our facebook page or the global dj network group welcome it's good to have you here uh, all right then so um, so more questions, keep your questions coming in. Queso says, damn, that's badass. No need to record to Serato or Recordbox. Uh, and then setting it up to share it. Yeah, it's very, very easy to share from there. Does it work uh, for Android or iPhone or doesn't it matter? It works on both, but there is a nuance. There is a certain thing you need on your Android phone. So to save getting technical now, go and check out our review of it. And I'll post the link underneath this uh, or in the description on Facebook and YouTube shortly. Uh, all right then, could you use an audio splitter cable? Yes, you could. And I've heard of people doing that and I've heard the people over at uh, Mix, uh, uh, sorry, at um, Mixbox themselves, ever mix themselves, saying that that's okay. It's not ideal, but yes, you could use an audio splitter uh, to use it on an entry level controller. A few of you asking about that. Uh, people are saying uh, it seems simple. I think that's the point. It's just a simple way of doing this. Is there an app for the MacBook? No, but any, any recording app will do. QuickTime will do it. Audacity will do it, which is free on the MacBook. Can you download the app to your iPad too? I haven't tried it, but I'm very sure that you would be able to. It might be in that mode where you, know, you get the small version and you can click it up a bit 
but I'm sure you'll be able to. Uh, all right then, so uh, lots of you saying you like this. DC Cowboys says it's a great device. Uh, and um, so a few of you just saying, glad to be here live for once. Yeah, it's good. It's always better to be here live, isn't it? So AB, uh, good to have you here with us uh, live. Uh, all right then, what would be the difference between this and the iRig Stream? I have the latter, but I'm always looking for the best equipment. This is simpler than the iRig Stream. It just strips everything out. You know, the one thing that the iRig Stream has got that you might miss, I think, is that through, so you can plug speakers in as well. But, you know, it's, uh, this is designed to be very, very, very simple for DJs to just plug in and go. Uh, all right then, uh, so uh, more questions about this. I'll answer two or three more. How much space does it take up on the phone or does it link to a hard drive? Uh, it doesn't link to a hard drive, so you're going to have to use it. Uh, I would record in, in AAC on the phone, frankly. I wouldn't record in WAV. Uh, some people will, uh, though, and that's fine. Please forgive my ignorance, but can you plug this into an audio interface versus a mixer? So no, the idea about this, Leslie, is it is an audio interface. So it takes an analog signal straight from the mixer that you could, uh, you know, you could plug into speakers as well if you wanted. Uh, but instead, it takes that signal, turns it into a digital signal and sends it to your computer or your phone. So it is an audio interface. So you'd plug it into a mixer. Uh, all right then. So um, I've got an iRig 2 guitar effects. What's the difference? This does less which is all DJs need, and it costs less. So that's it, you know. DJs use all kinds of audio interfaces. We've got tons of them around here. Uh, there's nothing I can lay my hands on this second. It's always the way when you say something like that. But look, here's the, uh, here's the iRig Stream that we were talking about, for instance. It's a great little device, but it does, even that does a bit more than most people would need, although this is the closest to it, to be honest. That's the closest unit to the, uh, the one we're looking at here today. But, you know, I haven't got, this is the nearest I've got to a big audio interface. This is actually a full mixer, but it's also got a USB out. So you could plug your DJ controller into this, and then the USB out you plug into your iDevice or into your computer, and you know, but you don't need all this to record a DJ set, and that's what they're getting at. They want something small. Let me just put that down. They wanted to make something small and easy, um, easy to use. Uh, so that's what you that's what you get here. Uh, can I connect it to a Mac? Yeah, just plug it in with the USB-C, or you can use a USB-C to USB-A adapter cable to plug it in. So one thing about it, let me just show you this, that is, uh, to me, not ideal, but they obviously had their reasons, is it uses a DIN plug. So this is not a standard plug. So while on one end of this, you've got your standard lightning or the USB-C, depending which cable you use. That, you break it, you can't just go and buy one from a petrol station. However, um, these are cheap and they sell them cheap on their website. So it's not like they're tying you into, they're not like a printer company where, you know, cost you $20 for the printer and 100 for the refills. It's just, uh, there must be a reason for that power or something like that. But anyway, um, you know, I'd like to have seen that being a more standard cable. Uh, on a Pioneer DJ MS9, would this hook up to the booth output? Yeah, exactly. You, you hook it up to the booth output, get the volume somewhere normal, uh, and then you'd use the master output for your speakers. So if you adjust the master output as the night's going on, the booth output stays constant for the, uh, for the Evermix. And that's why on Pioneer mixes, the record out is such a good output because it doesn't, it's not affected by the master or booth outputs. It's a, it's a steady, steady output there. Um, so, all right then. Um, uh, I've been a turntablist since the 90s and been on stage with legends, uh, but this one may make me change to digital. Oh, right, okay, so there you go. Changing the way you DJ for an audio interface. I'll go for that. Uh, I'm after an audio interface to live stream, but it's all confusing. This might be an option. It certainly would, as long as you're live streaming with either a compatible Android device, an iPhone, uh, or a, um, uh, a MacBook. Now, one thing I should tell you, the USB-C cable doesn't work on iPads. So the USB-C cable will only work if you plug it into a uh, MacBook or into an Android phone, curiously. Uh, all right then, how much is it? 115 UK pounds. Uh, is the price of it, so do your conversions there. Uh, it can also be used with other recording apps. Yeah, I think I mentioned that, but thank you for pointing that out. Uh, there's an easier way of recording your set, says Scott, from your record out of your controller, plug into a standalone digital voice recorder. Well, that's true, but then you end up with a file on the digital voice recorder. On this one, you end up with a file on your phone, and you're one click away from sharing that file with anyone. They're trying to make it simple. I can put that file straight into my own, own file system or Dropbox, or I can just click share to SoundCloud or Mixcloud, right? So, you know, yes, there are other ways of recording, but there's, and there might be easier ways of recording because you don't need your phone, but 
you're then going to get it onto your phone or onto your Mac, this is all uh, there immediately. But agreed, some people will always prefer a standalone recorder, a Zoom or something like that. Can you get an external power cable? Yeah, we talked about that. It plugs into the USB micro socket there, so you can power your phone at the same time. How does it compare to the last model? I honestly couldn't tell you. It's um, obviously will have had improvements, but I don't know what the, the differences are between the Evermix 2 and 4. Uh, so uh, I can't tell you that, I'm afraid. Um, so DJ Mike, Mike, hello Mike. Uh, for Pioneer mixes, this is redundant because Pioneer has their record app, which is digital. Yeah, that's true. It does have their, their rec app, which is digital, assuming that it's a modern enough mixer with it. So there is another solution there. Um, all right then, I'm going to, I'm definitely going to try this out. I have the iRig stream and I like having an alternative, says Dontel. I promise you I would tell you about this competition uh, and also about the prize draw. So the prize draw, guys and girls, is really, really easy. Um, this thing here is a great way of recording your mixes. So what we want you to do is think about, if I asked you to record a mix tomorrow, if I asked you to record a DJ mix tomorrow, what would be your opening tune? What would be the tune that you would Get people hooked in with straight away, right now, in your collection right now. What's the one big tune that you would open a DJ set with right now on the 7th of June or the 8th, because I'm asking you to record it tomorrow, on the 8th of June, uh, July, even, uh, 2020. What's your one big set opener tune? Uh, and what I want you to do is on either our YouTube channel or on anywhere on Facebook that you're watching this, we can't do this on Mixcloud because it goes away, or Twitch because it goes away straight afterwards. So on either our Facebook channel or on our, sorry, our Facebook group or page, doesn't matter if you're watching this on Facebook, there will do, or on YouTube, and if you're anywhere else, just come to one of those places. Underneath in the comments, just tell us the name of that tune. And if you want to, you can tell us why you would open with it. But all we need is the name of the tune. You're not, you're not going to have a better chance of winning by giving us more info. It's going to be a completely random draw. And what we're going to do is pick uh, five winners worldwide who are going to get the full Evermix Box 4. Uh, and this is going to happen on Friday. So you need to get your ideas in between now and Friday, which is the, what's the 7th today? So Friday the 10th of July. Um, and we will... Uh, let you know. Now, don't do it in the comments now. If you're in comments on Facebook Live, or sorry, on YouTube, you've got to wait till afterwards and do it in the proper comments underneath. This will go live about 10 minutes after we're finished. So just to let you know, because the chat's harder to, to do that way. So hold your horses on YouTube, wait till afterwards, go find the recording. Like I said, it'll be live in about 10 minutes after we, when we click stop, it generally takes some 10 minutes to put the video live. Share it there, or just go and share it under one of the Facebook versions of it as well. That's all you've got to do. We'll pick five lucky winners of one of these. So there's also Evermix's own Sound of Summer competition where you are asked to submit a 45 minute house mix, any style of house uh, that's inspired by summer. And then they've got four of these to give away, three runners up will get one of these, but the winners get a really good prize pool. You get one of those, but you also get uh, your mix played on radio, you get an interview on radio, you get it promoted on the Evermix blog, uh, you get money off vouchers for digital music downloads and for equipment and all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, so it's really worth entering. If, if, if I've inspired you to pick that first tune and you think, you know what, I will go on and do a mix. Uh, as long as it's summer inspired and any form of house music, that's what they've asked for, uh, you can enter their competition uh, as well as entering our prize draw. So you do that by clicking on the link, go to the Evermix site, I'm sure they've got it on there, but I'll give you a link underneath just as soon as we stop being live here in a minute. I'll go and put that link underneath uh, the video on YouTube. I'll also put it in the description on Facebook. Uh, so there's two ways for you to win one of these units there and the big prize from Evermix is really good. And also, we're giving a DJ course away to the winner as well of the Evermix competition. So there you go, lots of ways to win. To enter our one just one more time, as soon as we've gone off air on YouTube now, wait for the recording of this to appear, and then underneath it, tell us the tune you would open a mixtape with if I asked you to record one tomorrow. And if you're watching this on Facebook, you can do it anytime you want in the replies or the comments underneath this video. Do it now or do it afterwards, it's all cool. Uh, and I'll give you the link for the Evermix competition uh, in the description uh, on both of the channels, YouTube and Facebook as well. Right, that's it for today. One or two final comments uh, on our Tuesday Tips Live. Uh, so a few of you showing them already. I just wait till afterwards, people. Sorry, I didn't tell you that one in time. Uh, but uh, but um, 
Yeah, no, I think we've covered everything that you're asking here. Oh, James says the upload to SoundCloud is so easy. Uh, I love your choice of tune there, Si. Would have been my set opener at one point as well. Uh, yeah, all of you sharing them uh, anywhere that isn't Facebook, just wait till afterwards. We'll try and get your names out of the chat comments as well, but it's just a bit harder for my team. Uh, all right then, so uh, we're done. Thank you for watching. This has been the Digital DJ Tips. Look at the Evermix mix box and the giveaway of five units and also the competition. Uh, check out our book if you haven't. It's on Amazon, it's on Kindle, it's on Audible audiobooks, it's everywhere you can find it if you wanna know more about how we teach DJing. Uh, and go and enter that competition. And all that's left for me to say, as ever, is get good, get out there and make the moments. And we'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye, people.